Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video, looking at Gem, a season model for today's first video. So uh, this is going to be taking us through the uh, next three months, March, April, May, which of course is spring 2023. So uh, we'll have a look and see what the Gem a is forecasting um, for the spring of 2023 in a moment. Just to say about the first video today was the uh, 6 a.m. upload. And we've also released the USA forecast as well uh, for the next six weeks, so please check out those two videos if you'd like to do that we'll be live streaming at 6 p.m this evening so uh that's going to be epic we're going to have our, our 10 to 14 day live and that'll be coming up for you at 6 p.m if you could please like share subscribe on videos of live streams thank you so much everybody uh for doing that right on to the jma then so of course we're releasing the uh second and um, final spring 2023 season one roundup on saturday that'll be released on saturday morning we'll get something like 15 long range rides to get from the world's leading forecast centre to see what they're all showing for spring 2023 for the final time of uh, the season. The JMA will be included in that. But you can get lots of information from the uh, JMA and we wouldn't have time to go through all of the information, you know, on a month by month basis um, with the JMA in that video because we've got all the other models to look at. So we always like to take this one out and have a look at it on its own terms, its own terms. You see what I mean? So uh, that's what we're doing um, for this one. So uh, let's do that then. We're going to start off with the month one 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic uh, North Pole view down. This is for March. So, of course, this is the uh, North Pole just here. And then we've got a wider arc circle around there. Got the latitudes through here. So, blue is extrapolating to below average height, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. So this is a rather strange anomaly uh, for March. We see that we've got some high pressure um, centred towards Iceland and Greenland, but kind of ridging through the western part of Europe. There might be some sort of trough over Scandinavia as well. That's a strange anomaly to uh, start us off. Uh, April looks like that. Again, a lot of ridging in April being predicted. High pressure again through the west of Europe, extending up towards Greenland and Iceland. Top of low pressure again is in across northern parts of Europe. Jet stream doing something uh, a little bit like that as well. And then May looks like this. So a higher pressure then sort of uh, across southern parts of Europe and on the Canadian side of Greenland. Um, I'm probably just establishing or re-establishing a little bit more of an east, uh, a little bit more westerly type flow, I should say, there, maybe some low pressure coming in from the United States. I say these are very bizarre and very strange anomaly charts, though. This is how the overall uh, 500 millibar height anomaly is looking for spring, um, some sort of ridge really across western parts of Europe and out into the North Atlantic. Right, so that's the Northern Hemispheric view. This is how the tropical mid latitudes are looking. We can't see Greenland, ice. Um, Scandinavia, all those areas are off the chart up here. We've had a look at that view down though, so we know what's going on. We're in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. Uh, with UK and Ireland, a reminder of that week one, a uh, month one, I should say, uh, 500 mil of our high only for March, with the above average heights over country and extending. You can think that green will be up here, extending up towards Greenland. Not much of a signal for the temperature anomaly in March, close to average. And uh, not much signal for precipitation either, perhaps a little bit wetter in the north, but, you know, not much of a signal there. Uh, overall, it looks rather easterly with the uh, wind direction. So the black hair is always a little bit difficult to make out, but um, they're coming from like an easterly direction here, especially so into more southern parts of the country. Over here we can see that also got easterlies as well. So rather easterly march. Um, I'm not sure what to make of that, to be honest. It's a very strange uh, scenario, you know, for just month, month number one. Uh, signals appear to be quite weak. Um, so if it winds in from the east anyway in March, that could be quite a cold wind direction. So I will say that, although March doesn't seem to be um, producing anything notably cold or getting that high pressure into a situation where, where you know, it looks like it's cold. Um, because the mean wind direction there, the black arrows are coming from the east, if that was to verify, then that could be quite a cold march. Um, right, okay, April looks like that, with the above average heights over the country again. Centre a little bit more towards the south, though. 
this time. Again, not all that much of a signal for precipitation. Perhaps ever so slightly on the above average side, but not, you know, not much of a signal. Precipitation for April is drier than uh, normal. How's the wind direction looking in April? Um, no, it looks like that a little bit more uh, south of east, I think, in uh, April. You see here, got like southerly southeasterlies, and just here, like uh, uh, east southeasterly. So, again, quite an anti cyclonic signal for April. If wind is a little bit more southeasterly, then uh, that would deliver us into uh, something potentially. Uh, a little bit warmer and then into uh may again we have the high pressure center to ourselves there's some high pressure up here possibly some sort of a atlantic flow beginning to come back but it's not clear cut the temperature anomaly again just was ever so slightly above average not much of a signal does look a little bit more unsettled though so the rainfall started to go uh, a bit above average there for the uk and Ireland in May. The wind direction uh, is actually like southerly to southwesterly. Uh, so just up here, you know, again, blackout is always difficult to make out, but they're kind of southerly southwest. So quite warm, but maybe unsettled uh, May is a possibility there. Um, maybe. And then spring overall looks like that with, again, the above average heights over the country. Though rather anti-cyclonic uh, spring to come. The temperature anomaly uh, is about average a little bit above and precipitation wise it's relatively dry, certainly for March and April, a bit more unsettled when we get into May. The overall wind direction for the, this spring looks like it's kind of southerly southeasterly. So it's more easterly in March, it goes like southeasterly in April, and then southerly southwesterly in uh, May. I would have thought overall that probably delivers some milder than average spring. Um, although it could be quite cold start in March, but once we get beyond March, we'll probably go into a relatively mild spring. A lot of dry weather as well until late on, and then it starts to turn uh, a bit more unsettled. Dare I say, maybe a little bit volatile. So nothing particularly out, uh, noteworthy, though, uh, showing up there on any of those uh, months for this spring. So a relatively benign spring uh, on the way if pajama season is correct. Well, it's only one model, and we'll see what the other 14 have to say when we do our uh, final season one roundup for spring 2023. I'd say that'll be coming up on Saturday morning. JMA will form a part of that, but you'll know, have all your models to look at in conjunction. Uh, we're going to be back at 6 p.m. this evening, live streaming our 10 to 14 days, so make sure you check that one out for this JMA seasonal update, though. That's all for now, and thanks so much.